I you forget to be my ship back after you sunk it. Wait, you sunk it. It may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got it shaped up to almost proper working order. I wish you good luck in finding whomever, whomever it is you're looking for. Maybe that shy LaBeouf person. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime, Philippe. Okay, we have our first heart of like the second row of hearts. Apparently somebody could have like 17 hearts or something by this point if they were actually collecting everything. According to my guidebook thing over here. That I guess I, I, guess I don't need it to be like open in here anymore. So I guess I'll just... Now that that's done, close up the guidebook. I'll just put it, like, there for now or something. I'll go to the sky. Let us go to the sky. We are going to learn a new song. It's going to be fantastic. I don't remember how much is left to this game. Because, like, it's been a long time since I've played through this game. So, like, we did the first three dungeons. The opening kind of thing. Then we did the one in Farin, Like, the next one. And then that one. So I think the next one... I did not mean to extend this. So I believe there's still another dungeon in Elden before the story, like, starts coming together and stuff. I think. Make it! Make it! Good, you made it. Oh, that was weird and glitchy. Uh, dive, dive, dive. I'm pressing the... Okay. <laughs> My goodness. Wait, we gotta go to the Isle of Songs, though, to learn a new song. But I'll see if there's anything, like, interesting in the bazaar. I still don't exactly have a lot of rupees. I don't know why it prompts you to press B when it just opens the sailcloth for you anyway. Oh, look, my sword is, like, whiter now. I wonder if I have materials to, like, power up the shield. I wonder if I do. I probably don't. But, like, I can check anyway. I... And now, uh, hang on a second. I see you're looking well these days. Almost a little too well. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather a variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. This treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you. Okay, you're creepy. Um, what? Ah, my friend, I got a new item in today. My latest treasure is a finely crafted, fully automated assault rifle. I mean, small quiver for discerning bow owners. It's simply a must. Take a look for yourself. Well, I mean, uh, how much is this? That's a small quiver. With this in your pouch, you can carry five more arrows. Perfectly, I want enamored with archery. It costs 150 rupees. Do we have a deal, friend? Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That's quite all right, friend. I've got a few other fine items. This doctor, do take your time and look around. Well, I love how you always size the moment you leave. You hear it in the background. I was scrapper training any up freaking upgrade my thing. I'll see if you can upgrade my shield, maybe. Maybe, maybe. What does it take for that? Oh, I can do it. 100 rupees. And it's two bird feathers, one dusk relic, and three ornamental skulls. Okay. Yeah, I will take the improved shield. You want to upgrade this? There's no going back yet. Especially considering how near impossible combat is with this. <laughs> With this set of controls, it probably benefits me to upgrade my shield however I can. Have it work a little bit better and stuff. Have some more life. Hold on, here you go. Sweet, thanks, bro. Got a divine shield. Can repair itself over time. It's now more durable. Nice. Um, can I upgrade it more? Hold on, let's look at what the bow upgrade is. Oh, I can do it. Three tumbleweeds. I have four. Thank goodness. I've been collecting those. One evil crystal. I have seven. Three monster claws. I have exactly three. And two Eleanor. I have 14. Uh, increased attack power. Okay, sure. Let's do the thing. Iron bow. You want to upgrade this? There's no going back. Why would I want to go back to a weaker bow? Why would I do that? He's got like one of them freaking fire emblem iron bows. Upgrade from, I guess, a bronze bow and fire emblem standards, but a wooden bow in this case. Hold on. Here you go. You got the iron bow. Quest for an ex for the expert bowman. This bow has enhanced attack power and can launch arrows even farther. Interesting. Got anything else you want me to tinker around with? Just let me know. Okay. Wait, I can upgrade it again? What? I need five tumbleweeds for that? Sacred bow. Even more attack power. And a goddess plume. Where the heck do I get a goddess plume? What the heck is that? Oh, I can do this though. A strengthened sacred shield with even more durability. It needs one blue bird feather. I have two. Three monster horns, I have eight. Three bird feathers, I have exactly three. And four dusk relics, I have ten. Okay. Want to upgrade this? All right, I'm glad I didn't get the quiver from the dudo. I wouldn't be able to buy these upgrades then. I wonder if that one, like, lottery 
freaking free fall weird mini game is open in skyloft like i wonder how far in the store you need to be for that to open up there's this one like mini game that you can play in skyloft where there's like this rotating island and whatever space you land on while spinning around like a weird slot machine thing is like how many rupees you get back and such but i practiced it back in the day and i always landed on the best spaces and i used it to just like grind infinite rupees so i wonder if it's open i'm probably not good enough to like get the best tile but like i used to be but the this probably needs tumbleweeds doesn't it? it needs three top i need so many freaking tumbleweeds like at all times i could always go back for like some other thing what a report master did you know that you are of the big dumb because of the improvement to your sword you can now use your dowsing ability to locate treasure please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list at your leisure and convenience oh it's because i didn't go to the freaking this guy was like, oh, come over here. I know a better way for you to get treasure. Because I didn't do that, Fires just like, oh, I'll tell you instead. Um, let's put my shield back on. So, yeah, that's a nice amount of durability for it to, like, auto-repair itself. And an auto-repair is pretty fast. So, as long as I don't, you know, take a bunch of hits in, like, quick succession, we should be A-OK. -okay. My boy, have I got a new potion for you. I call it the air potion. It's perfect for stupid airheads like you. One delicious gold of this elixir and you'll find while you are underwater. Your oxygen gauge will drop much more slowly. Be like a little fish, young man. And the price is more than generous if I do say so myself. I don't know why I'm doing the freaking Zelda CDI King voice. If you're interested in a bottle, young man, just examine the blue cauldron and I'll come. Uh, I want the... that. I always need those. That's a matter heart potion. Drink this, my boy, and it will replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some up for your adventure? It's only 20 Yeah, I think I need this sometimes. Like, I literally wouldn't have been able to beat the last boss without it. I mean, it might not be a bad idea to go and get, like, some other stuff. Like, I wasn't planning on 100 percent in this game. But, like, if I go get more stuff, it would literally help me out. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch of things in goddess cubes if I went around collecting them. And there's probably... Probably just, like, a lot of things in general that I can collect. Like, there are more pouch items. I could probably get more empty bottles. Which would, like, really help me. My boy! Like, right now, I only have two empty bottles and, like, the minimum amount of pouches that you can have at this point in the story. So, like, if I actually took the time to, like, collect things, it might not be a bad idea, you know? Uh, that's the wrong thing. This is the wrong thing. I only have six freaking... Oh, but I can use the claw shots. Right? Yes, I can. I don't have to use any ammo. I probably can't afford to buy anything off a of beetle, but, like, I'll check what he has is a thing because i know that he has some upgrades and stuff because like as much as i've been hating on skyward sword this stream it is still my favorite legend of zelda game at the end of the day and i don't think i've 100 percented it before never mind doing it on hero mode so it might not be a bad idea heart medallion oh that would make hearts drop in hero mode in the first place and in normal mode it make like more hearts drop so you do have a pouch that'll increase the number of items you can carry your adventure pouch by one it'll be the most useful thing i can't afford it though but i might be able to afford these things if i go do that freaking mini game thing rob if i had this in my inventory i believe it would make hearts drop in i think it is at least 800 i think it would make hearts drop in hero mode which could be like a massive help here hmm. Oh, please wait a moment. I... Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything. Off with you! <laughs> There's some great things about Skyward Sword. <laughs> it's so dumb. Well. <laughs> just face plants down here. Like, if I recall, that one island should be out here somewhere. I'm, I'm sure that really narrowed it down. But it should be out in the direction of... I think I remember approximately where it is. <laughs> I thought if I rolled, and even if I ran out of stamina, I'd be able to, like, do the thing. Well, you know what's actually pretty hard to die in Skyloft? Just because if you go off the edge, these people save you and you don't even lose any life. You have to find, like, places to land on the ground from a decent height. If you want to do, like, back-in-time glitch. And so, let's call the burb! So, if I recall, we could always go to the Isle of Songs, but... This one... It's right there, I see it! That's the freaking spinny island I was just talking about. 
if I am... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get the thing. Oh, thank goodness. I used to be good enough at this minigame over here that I could always land on, like, the really good spaces and get the... Whoa, whoa. And get, like, the biggest rupee amounts every time and use this to grind infinite rupees. Is it running right now? And I'm pro it's been a long time. I probably wouldn't be good enough to do it. Hold on. Let's see here. Is it running? Uh, my super wacky party wheel of fun fell off the island way down below the clouds. Oh, you need to go find something to activate it. Because if I find the thing, we can potentially get infinite rupees off of this. Because up until this point, I've just been going like through the story. That's completely it. Only story focused. And this is a playthrough that, honestly, I wouldn't mind taking longer, having some more fun with, like, some other things here and there. And if I do that, it's gonna make, like, the rest of it easier anyway. So, like, without that, there's just no way. A dream of fun is dead. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do anything without it. The laughter has turned to tears. Okay, so I need to, like, find it somewhere. I could check it in my guidebook, but, like, I don't know... You know what page to turn to for that so like also do i have any goddess oh i do have some goddess cubes available here so i could go around collecting some because like i haven't collected like a single one up here like this entire time hold on i'm gonna go to google real quick skyward sword party wheel is that what i look up like where on the surface do i find it I'm allergic to finding the party wheel. It's in Lanayru Desert. Your dowsing ability helps track down the party wheel can be found in Lanayru Desert near the southernmost bird statue called Desert Entrance. From here at the time shift zone, climb the vines that appear. Oh, gross. This is a freaking IGN guide. I hate IGN. Whatever. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's see here. Getting a 10 times multiplier without hanging any of the balloons gives you a heart piece. Fixing fun island. Now tell about the missing piece. Your dowsing ability can help track down the party wheel. Lanayru Desert near the southern... I'll go back to that in a second. First, I'm going to... Where's my waypoints? Over there. Let's actually go collect the things from the goddess cubes that we've been sending up here this entire time. Because, again, this entire playthrough so far, I've just been doing, like, story stuff. But I honestly wouldn't mind taking some time to, like, do some other things. Considering I only play this game on this channel, like, every handful of months... Whoa, crap. <laughs> Whatever. We, we made the landing. Considering I only do it like every few months, I might be a little bit lost. On oh, you got a small seed satchel. This is your 10 extra Deku seeds. So it's a very good thing that I did that. How the... Oh. So you specifically need claw shots. Maybe it's a good thing that I never went for any of these before. Because I guess there's some that I can only get now. Huh. Interesting. What the heck is this? You got a potion metal. Carry this with you to prolong the effects of a potion. I don't have any lingering effects on any of my potions, though. Take it now to using up a slot. Wait, I need to keep this in my inventory to have the benefit of it? I thought it'd just be like a passive... Oh, crap. I don't want that, then. If things like the... I haven't played the game in a long time, so I didn't remember. 10 out of 10 with face plants again. Indeedly do. If I need to spend an inventory slot for that... Oops. No, don't use that. Then I'd rather that be used up with, like, a quiver or something, you know? Wait, how do I get rid of this sea remove beacon? So... Hold on. So there's a thing here. There's a bunch of goddess cubes that I've sent up here. Oh, there's a couple there. Yeah, so we can, like, fly around collecting all these. Is Lanayru's thing on the way? I could go to Lanayru Desert on the way to, like... Oh, I guess it makes sense to be in Lanayru Desert. If it, like, fell off the thing, because that's, like, the beam that's, like, closest here and stuff. So it makes sense. Yeah, if we activate Fun Fun Island over here, as it's apparently called, according to the IGN there, then I could potentially use it to get infinite rupees and, like, really help me out. Good well do. Why am I playing this game with this controller? <laughs> Why do I do the things that I do? So, like, I remember I, way back in the day, I was really good at that island. If I can get that skill back, we can use this. We can absolutely use it. Let's dive. Alright, so it's at... It's somewhere in here. It's at the southernmost bird statue called Desert Entrance. 
southernmost one, huh? There's our entrance. Well, that's technically not southernmost. There's one that's more south than that, but... IGN logic, I guess. Um, from here, hit the time shift stone and climb the vines that appear. I almost panicked for a second. Because I had to press B, but, like, I didn't. Hit the time shift stone, climb the vines that appear. What do you mean hit the... Oh! So, this fun, fun party wheel thing... That is the only way that we can bring back the essence of fun is like up here or something. I... Oh, I'll take these. These are rare. Got an ancient flower. I can always use that. Supposedly they glow in the dark. Wow, I have eight of them. That's cool. So. Oh, a little secret passage here. This is so stupid. Why do I do the things I do on this channel? Oh, it's right there! Okay. Wow, imagine IGN being helpful for once. Wait, can I do anything with it? Gosh darn it, do I need to do something to like... Objectives? Now that Sacred Flame is hands your sword. Dial songs, well, yeah, yeah. It's here, though. It's... No! The thing! The... The thing! This! How do I... Like, I don't get to track it specifically. Am I missing something here? Let's see here. Work your way east, and you'll find the wheel in the sand. Your robot can bring it to the sky, and the owner of the... What the heck? Your dowsing ability can help track down the party wheel. No, it can't! Well, here I thought IGN was being useful. I should have known better, I guess. Hold on, let's see here. Here's a YouTube video. So he goes to Fun Fun Island. Wait, he talks to them and... He actually gets dialogue that is like, Oh, it fell below the clouds. How am I supposed to get it now? I didn't get that dialogue. Talk to him and you'll find he's lost something very important to him. Tell him you'll find it for him. And Fi will suggest it probably drop beneath to Lanayru. But that, that never happened for me. I talked to him already. And that never happened. What? I am so confused right now. I am very thoroughly confused. Um. What the heck? I already talked to him. It didn't give me the option to like douse for do I did I not talk to him in the right way? Is there a prerequisite of some sort? There might it said that apparently if I do that for him, he'll reward me with five gratitude crystals. And the ability to un to collect gratitude crystals is something I don't have yet. Do I need to go meet Mr. Monster Dude to like unlock the ability to get gratitude crystals in order to get the quest from that guy? Do I have to do like a crazy chain of things to like do this thing? Maybe? Okay, so the one over here is lit, but like there's another one in there that I could get at some point later, I guess? Hmm. Hmm. You got the heart medal while you're carrying this medal. Hearts will appear even while playing in here. I should have gone around to the freaking goddess chest earlier. Also cause heart flowers to bloom. If someone who worries about heart doing adventure, keep this with you. How just full so the item was sent to the item check. I can get hearts to appear like a normal playthrough with that thing. Why didn't I? Why didn't I check the freaking cubes around Skyloft before? Ah, oh, dang it. Well, okay, so there's stuff over there. I could always go by, let's go to the Isle of Songs. Actually, let's get the next song for like story stuff, but then I will go check out those other cubes. And I want that heart medal in my inventory. And then hearts can drop even in hero mode, which would really, really help me out, is the thing. Uh, and when it comes to the monster dude that I need to do like a side quest for to unlock the ability to get gratitude crystals, I honestly forget what I need to do to like find him. I think it needs to be nighttime and I need to like move a gravestone in a graveyard is what my memory is telling me. 
I don't know how accurate this is, but that's what my memory tells me. And there should only be the one graveyard in Skyloft? I know that there's like a thing that you do in a graveyard, and then there's like a secret passage down, and then you meet Mr. Monster Dude, who tells you about gratitude crystals and asks you to collect them for him, which you get for like making people happy around Skyloft and such. So maybe that would then unlock the ability to talk to Mr. Fun Fun Clown Dude and actually get the side quest for him to get his party wheel because he apparently rewards you with gratitude crystals at the end. So I would think that that would be the prerequisite is unlocking the ability to actually collect gratitude crystals, surely. Surely that's the answer. And then I'd be able to use the freaking Fun Fun Island minigame to get as many rupees as I need. And then I'd be able to get, like, all the upgrades and various things that I need. I keep adjusting that thing by accident. It is, this is so weird. My goodness. Let's... Wait, what's this? I see a thing up here, I think. What the heck is this? Secret chest? That I don't have activated right now? Interesting. So I guess it's associated with a cube on the surface. <laughs> Down we go. What happens if I called my bird right here? It somehow works. Okay. I was just curious. Okay. I was just a little bit curious, to say the least. Alright, let's get this next song. How about? Just so that this is done. i have to make a little bit of a pit stop to here to tell me about the final flame, which should be in the Elden Ring. Come on, t hold your sword like a normal freaking person. Like. There we go. Master Harmonia, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim another sacred gift. For each, for each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. That's what I've been doing up to this point. Now I bestow it onto you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final ritual. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. I call this piece Wrecking Ball. According to my records, that song you just heard is not called Wrecking Ball, but called Din's Power. Use this song of might to locate the last trial. You learn Din's Power! I have committed Din's Power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use Dowsing to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. But I've got like... I'm, if I was still playing normally, I would go straight to Elden Volcano, as I've been doing up until this point. Like, I've basically just been going through the story, and that's it. Oh, it looks like Dogia adjusted, so I'll adjust Dogi Cam in that case. She's adjusting more and more off the couch. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> So, yeah, up until this point, I've basically been focusing just on, like, story stuff non-stop, going to the next story thing. But, what if I did some side things for, like, the first time in this playthrough, maybe? 